I've been procrastinating about this, uh, about getting this big old monster winch in here, and I finally got her bolted up. Got the battery in it. Got it bolted up underneath the frame. I, I bolted it to the uh, actual frame of the trailer. There's a two by six, basically. It runs down the whole floor of this trailer. Hopefully that works. We'll see. I'm gonna take it easy and give it a little trial run. I was gonna add a snatch block. There's some snatch block. I mean, a D-ring and a snatch block kind of center. Center with the winch and center with the trailer to have, keep it as straight as possible. But you know, I think it's gonna be all right with this. I don't want to drill any more holes than I got to. It's a little off, but I think it'll straighten itself out. So we'll just see how it goes. I'll see how the cable reels up and I'll see how uh, the floor, how the floor holds up, if you know what I mean. All right, let's see. That was all for nothing. I'll try it again here in a couple days. I got no clutch. Same thing happened last year after the winter. Uh, I guess that O-ring and the uh, clutch safe cylinder flattened out. So, I guess that's something I gotta do every year is put a ring in this transmission. I don't know. I mean, it's a cheap part, but uh, I'll stop and get me one. And, Get that fixed and then i can try out this winch so i'll just uh do it by hand see how it at least swivels up see if it swivels up good but that's aggravating oh well i gotta roll with it just gotta roll with it i had a little time to get my winch set up and uh she worked like a charm Pulled it right on in. The old tire rack misses the, the car. So, that was the last big important piece to do. Now I can start working on E-Track. Built this little shelf this morning. I had some toolbox liner. So I just took a three quarter inch piece of plywood, trimmed it with some uh, one inch angle that I use for body bracing. That way it kind of matches that. And, uh, we're in business. Couldn't do anything over that winch anyways, so built that bench there. Added some uh I oh, still gotta get all this mess put together, but put some under cabinet lighting in there. That. So now I'm gonna start running my electric, get my e-track done. Uh probably let the car sit here while I do all this. I'm gonna put a cabinet there, my field jugs, I think will be alright, lined up there. The spare, I really didn't want to put up there. I was going to put it somewhere I could get to a little easier, but that's actually not bad. I was just going to mount it to the wall over here, but if I got room for it, I might stick it there. So, anyways, as they say, she's in the box. So, now to work on some of the little stuff. Getting uh, where everything can get strapped in and good to go, but we're on the downhill. Here we are again. It's March 4th, Monday. Uh, this will probably be the last video before uh, the race season starts. Uh, March 16th is play day. I said I wasn't going to run. I was going to help out my buddy Harrison kind of get a handle on things. But I'll probably take the car, maybe go out there once. Um, I can't. I just got to make sure everything's good. I know they changed the track. They cut the berm out. Added, I was told, like 12 foot to the bottom. So, I might as well go out there and see, um, you know, just make sure the car is good. You don't learn a whole lot from play day. Tracks usually burn up and dry, and that's that's fine. So, but at least make sure everything's good with the car. So, the car, the car is pretty much ready to go. I still haven't made my spoiler, um, but other than that, 
She's ready to rock and roll. The grandkids, I had all eight grandkids here this weekend, so my concrete looks like that. The remains of the artwork of all the grandkids. All the way down the sidewalk, we got footprints, we got all kinds. Those are dog paw prints, I think. Yeah, anyways, they, uh, they had a good time. Of course, I had to get a picture with the uh, all the kids before this thing gets tore up. And then they wanted to go for a little ride, so I gave them a little ride around the yard. And uh, then the crew from Kansas City headed home, and the crew from uh, 15 minutes away headed home. So then it was time to get busy on the car again. I had some rock brought in. I really didn't want my trailer sitting up front. I mean, I was going to build a garage back there like I've stated before, but I don't want to have to hook up to my truck if I'm going to leave my car in here and try and work out of this thing. So I just had some rock poured and uh, spread, and uh, that way I can just park the trailer there, roll the car out, work on it on here, roll her back in. I don't have to pull it up out of a hole back here or anything um, just to make it easy. Widen the driveway out a little bit anyways. So, I still need to get a little, get the old tractor over here. Just kind of even it out, blend it in a little better. But, uh, yeah, you know, so that'll be a little easier. I can just back it up to my concrete pad, roll it off this way, work on it, roll it back in. Mima will have her van back in the garage. Um, I just got to clean it out a little bit. The, uh, what little bit's left of racing stuff in there. Looky there, that'll shock some folks. Some new tires sitting there. That'll, you don't see that in the wheelman's garage. I ain't had a new tire in two years. But anyways, I had a smoky motor. But now I got a nice fresh motor. Got uh, some great sponsors. Uh, been bouncing back and forth between the car and the trailer. It's the only thing I haven't done is upgrade uh, the LED on these side lights, these halogens. Other than that, I've done quite a bit. Uh, of course, I'm always in for a good deal. $1.99 at Harbor Freight. I thought I could get a hose reel, but uh, you know, for now I got a hose. I'll reel that up, just roll it up on there like my extension cord one. And uh, when I get tired of it, I'll buy a reel. But here, for $1.99, you know, I uh, added my, I had one outlet right there. I uh, added three more. So I got rid of that little white plastic box. Put that one on, ran it up here. Got one here. That'll be for my LED lights on this side. Um, got one there. That'll be for my LED pit lights that way. And then one of these will be for the air compressor, probably that one. The other one will be for my extension cord to run out to the car to uh, charge battery uh, in between races or for the battery charger or uh, grind tires. Got the old tire rack. That's old news, but hey, th this trailer had nothing in it. So I got the tire rack. Um, I really didn't want to try and feed a strap all the way through there. So my son-in-law thought about you know, mounting one of those E-Tracks here. He's like, man, you put an E-Track one. I thought, well, here, I'll just drill a hole and just strap it down. That'll keep them from bouncing out. Um, and they're in there pretty tight, so. Um, you know, we'll see. It kind of jacks the tire up there on the end of the spare, but they're all on there. They don't move. So I just drilled the hole in the end of the bracket. Ran a ratchet strap around it instead of trying to feed it through it. And got me a little E-Track from a table. Now, my fuel jugs, I said I was going to build a bracket there, which I haven't done yet. I'll aluminum. I'll probably do it when I do my spoiler. But really, by the time the tire, front tire sits there and that strap runs up to here, they're not going anywhere. But I'll probably still build one. Put me a white cabinet in here. Uh, I had this in my garage. I had both these in my garage. This one here, I took all my spare nut and, uh, nuts and bolts and ball joints and all that good stuff I got in there. Kind of organized. In here, I got some spare parts, my gears, all that stuff. So that worked out good. Got my casters on my toolbox. Got her strapped down. Uh, finally got that crazy winch to go. Bought that uh, snatch block. And um, 
All I gotta do is just run it over here. I just, I didn't need to add the other one. So it's good to go, it works good. Um, there's my bench that I built that kind of matches this one. So the only thing I, another thing I need to do is figure out something with this, build me a little uh, fluid holder of some sort. I mean, I still got cabinets, you know. I mean, you know, I can put stuff in there. It ain't got to be all out for show. But uh, added outlets up here. I mentioned that. Um, this 12 volt box converter was laying down here. It came with the trailer. It was just laying down here, floating around. That powered the radio and that weather station thing that was on there. But uh, so I mounted it up here with just some little plumber's tape. Added me some LED lights underneath there, so this controls that and the radio. Um, so got that all buttoned up. The TV, I don't know what I'm doing with the TV. I was gonna mount it on a swing arm. Don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm probably just gonna mount it right there on the wall. Kids gonna watch it from right there. Got a bare spot. Uh, got my. You see that? Those nice cabinet lights automatically come on. I got my dist my 12 volt uh, distribution box back there, uh, including my fuse panel. The cover was knocked off. It was stripped out when I got it. I got that all fixed and safe. Added my 12 volt box. Um, it runs these lights in my cabinets. And uh, then I added this little fancy thing. I can turn it on and it tells me what my battery life is at so I don't have to guess where it's at when I go to charge it but it also has iPhone and a USB for Android phone charger cigarette lighter type charger if you won't need that but I got it mainly because everything else was a bonus but I could read my battery you know maybe one day I'll get a maintainer on there but I got a charger right there that'll work and I got a plug in so I think I think that's about it. I am on, hold on. I am on the downhill. I just gotta do a few little things like, uh, like I said, my f fluid holder, my uh, fuel jugs, uh, my pit lights on the back, which I gotta give my buddy, if you need pit lights, give it Rob Newbar. Uh, he, uh, he has those, I'm gonna put some LED on his car. And uh, when I do, he's I'm gonna take care of him. He's gonna take care of me. I'm gonna do some LED on his car. He's gonna hook me up with some pit lights, so that works out good. And then other than that, man, I'm ready to rock and roll. Looking forward to this year. Um, and see what happens. So I'm gonna uh, try and run for. I mean, it's early. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm. I'm going to uh, try to run for points until, uh, here, it's first or bust for me. I finished second many times in points. Not that I want to downplay it, but, um, you know, here. What I'm saying is, is if I'm out in the top three with a shot to win it by midseason, I'm going to go run wherever I want at that point. I might go Peavely or Benton or or uh, wherever. Not that I don't like Farmington. I'll, I mean, that's my home track, but I'll, you know, I like to mix it up sometimes too, and if I'm not in it for the points. Here, I mean, it's just the way it goes. So uh, I've done got a schedule pretty much made out through May, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what I'm doing, but up through between uh, next week, which is play day, which I didn't even have that on the schedule because I just just decided to do that from the 23rd of March through whatever it is, the 18th of May, whatever. It's pretty much Farmington every week. The two weeks that the B mods are off at Farmington or Farmington's closed, I think I'm going to go around Peavely. I haven't ran there in a few years. So uh, that's the plan there. Uh, of course, I plan on hitting Doe Run some uh, when it works out. And um, But, yeah, that's the plan. So here, hopefully the next video. I got Harrison on there, Harrison Boyles. Um Getting uh, getting a handle on the car, um, and you never know. His dad, Rusty, he used to race with us back in the day. Um, he might hop in there and take a few laps. Uh, I'm sure he would like to, but uh, but yeah. So that'll be fun helping Harrison out, and and uh, so yeah, looking forward to the season. So 
I'm pretty much ready to go. Uh, my nose is itching all of a sudden, but uh, the trailer's pretty much wrapped up. Nothing exciting to most people, but hey, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, the wind's got me rocking, and uh, and the old hot rod is sitting there ready to go. I'm gonna change the oil in it, put a spoiler on it, and probably roll it in this uh, in this trailer and get it out of the way so old Mima can have her spot. But uh, until then. I'll see you.